Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today I wanted to make this video not only to discuss jailbreaking and the recent developments on the jailbreak scene, but also to go over a few questions that I'm asked on a regular basis, especially concerning iOS 7.0.4, Apple's latest public release, and Apple's latest beta release. So first of all though, I just wanted to mention that recently I did create a video when 7.0.4 was released, and I highly recommend watching it prior to this video. So if you have yet to, just be sure to check it out. I'll have an annotation on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. If not, you can find it by visiting my channel. All right, and with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the first piece of news that I wanted to discuss. So recently, as I mentioned before, Apple issued iOS 7.0.4 to the public to correct a number of bugs that were still present in iOS 7. And although the firmware displayed that the primary change was a solution for failed FaceTime calls, 7.0.4 introduces a multitude of remedies for small bugs that had previously plagued past iterations of iOS 7. So following the release in the video that I made, I discussed how jailbreak enthusiasts can update to 7.0.4, knowing they will eventually be able to jailbreak 7.0.4 when the Evaders release their upcoming utility. Shortly thereafter, MuscleNerd of the Evaders sent a tweet to his own followers that conveyed a slightly different message. So right now I'm going to address the situation and clarify any misconceptions. And although I previously reviewed the tweet in question from MuscleNerd in my past jailbreak update video, Video, many of you were confused regarding 7.0.4. Essentially, the hacker indirectly confirmed I hate Snow's initial assessment that 7.0.4 contains no real security changes and it won't impact the upcoming jailbreak in any negative form. However, MuscleNerd also challenged iDevice owners to avoid updating, but not for the reasons one might assume. MuscleNerd was essentially posing a test for users to put their restraint abilities into action so that when the day comes that Apple does issue issue an iOS 7 update that corrects the vulnerabilities the evaders will exploit in their jailbreak utility, users can be prepared. So in summary, if you're interested in 7.0.4 and the improvements it brings to the table, by all means feel free to update. It won't affect whether or not you'll be able to jailbreak in the future. Now after iOS 7.0.4, on November 18th, Apple seeded the first beta iteration of iOS 7.1 to those who are registered through the company's iOS developer program. Now, although it's not certain at this time because this is only the first beta iteration of iOS 7.1, it's likely that the final and public release won't patch any of the numerous vulnerabilities the evaders have discovered and are planning to implement into their upcoming untethered iOS 7 jailbreak utility, meaning said utility will likely jailbreak 7.1. And as stated in iOS 7.1's release notes, the firmware corrects a few network issues in addition to bugs that were unattended to in Apple's recent 7.0.4 public release. It adds a new Yahoo logo and burst mode upload options for the camera app, and finally a toggle for a new dark keyboard that's available in the accessibility portion of the settings app. Furthermore, famed hacker I Hate Snow shared a couple of interesting tidbits about Apple's latest beta release on Twitter, stating that the firmware is much more stable than Apple's initial iOS 7 release and that the beta is set to expire on Monday, January 13th, 2014. And although we don't have much information on how 7.1 will affect jailbreaking at this particular moment, given I Hate Snow is confident enough to update, it's likely that 7.1 contains no real security flaw remedies. Moreover, considering the fact that the evaders haven't publicized the vulnerabilities they plan on exploiting since they have yet to release their forthcoming utility, Apple engineers theoretically have no clue which loopholes to patch. It would be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. However, that doesn't mean you should update to iOS 7.1 right now. So now let's get into some of the most current information and I'll also discuss 7.1 more in depth and whether or not you should update. But first, for those who are newcomers to the jailbreak scene, although it may appear as though it's taking the evaders an extraordinary amount of time to release the iOS 7 and 7.0.4 jailbreak, it's really not. They're actually ahead of schedule. Looking back, it took the team from the time Apple released iOS 6 to the public, September of 2012, until mid-February to push out the first and only untethered jailbreak for the firmware. Fast forward to the present, in spite of the fact that there are more devices to support and that Apple has increased their mobile security protocols, the evaders are already further along in the development process for the iOS 7 jailbreak than they were last November with the iOS 6 evasion utility. It's almost baffling how impatient some newcomers are. In 
until their lack of knowledge on the topic is factored into the equation. Jailbreak development is not as straightforward as it once was, and as time goes on, Apple will continue to close the few security loopholes they've managed to overlook. In fact, in a recent interview, world-famous hacker Pod2G of the Evaders said that there may come a time when jailbreaking is simply no longer a possibility. After all, the group of genius hackers who have full-time jobs and are dedicating their free time to exploiting iOS are essentially up against Apple, a company with billions of dollars and hundreds of security analysts discovering and patching vulnerabilities in the OS on a regular basis. In the end, it would behoove everyone if those who are new to the jailbreak scene would stop complaining. They can only stress themselves and everyone else out. It will not expedite the process in any way, shape, or form. And now let's talk about iOS 7.0.4 and 7.1. So recently, Apple issued iOS 7.0.4 to the public in order to correct a few minor bugs, as I mentioned before. Those who update to the latest public firmware can rest assured knowing they'll be completely supported when the evaders release their next jailbreak. As for 7.1, the game may have changed slightly. It's best for those who wish to jailbreak in the future to avoid 7.1 beta firmwares. Although the new iOS 7.1 beta 1 firmware doesn't impact a device's ability to jailbreak, a future beta could. Moreover, if a device does update to 7.1 beta 1, it cannot downgrade to 7.0.4, even though 7.0.4 is the current public firmware. What's more, devices cannot stay on 7.1 beta 1 for any extended period of time as it will expire, forcing an update that could potentially patch the upcoming jailbreak. All right, now I've discussed everything I want to talk about jailbreak related in this video. Again, you can update to 7.0.4 if you want any of the enhancements it brings to the table. Avoid 7.1 for now, and I'll have more information for you guys in the very near future. Now, as far as my brand new iPad Air giveaway is concerned, that will actually conclude today. So just make sure to get your entries in as soon as possible. Again, it will end after my Xbox One unboxing that I also plan on posting later today, so just be sure to stay tuned for that. Again, it will take a couple of days for me to sort the entries and randomly select a winner, so don't expect the announcement today. Now, as far as my second generation iPad mini or the Retina iPad mini giveaway is concerned, that's still going on, so you can also still enter to win a brand new iPad mini. Just be sure to visit that video. I will have annotations to both on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. If not, you can find them simply by visiting my channel. But don't worry if you don't win either of the giveaways, because I will hold multiple iPad had giveaways very soon and they will all be tied into free app life so if you have yet to sign up for free app life just be sure to do so by visiting freeapplife.com inside of safari entering an email address and a password and tapping sign up that's it once you do so you'll essentially future proof your eligibility for new giveaways and we're actually working very hard to make free app life fully functional and sort out all of the offers that aren't working properly we've done a really good job so far we're continuing to make progress and we will make progress every single day so just be sure to check back soon and also don't forget if you want to unlock the ability to use your referrals in the more section just be sure to download over 200 points total so as you can see I do indeed have 2930 points which means I can use my referrals all you have to do again is download at least 200 points from the sponsored app section which I could do so just with one application alone so again just be sure to sign up for free app life for my future giveaways also stay tuned I will keep you guys completely updated on the status of the next untethered jailbreak and I'll also have the very best and first tutorials for you guys once it's released. And of course, if you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And don't forget to be updated more often, such as when I release new jailbreak updates and also future tutorials once a utility is available. Just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.